system uh, to talk to uh, VK3 Victor Charlie Sierra in Australia, uh, Melbourne. Now <coughs> you're probably wondering why I'm making another video. Uh, I was asked to give a presentation on uh, Fusion and the YSX system and indeed C4 FM Digital. The radio that uh, you're listening to the conversation on is a C4 FM digital radio. It's not a fusion radio and it's not a wires X radio. It's just purely C4 FM. Um, we've had analog FM for uh, many, many years, uh, going right back to the Second World War. And uh, uh, we've been using it. Uh, to great uh, effect as uh, amateur radio enthusiasts. But there's a new kid on the block. Uh, C4FM is the digital version of, uh, of FM. The radios, uh, the FT100, the FT400, the FT1D, uh, 2D and the FT991 uh, all have C4FM capabilities. Uh, they don't have fusion capabilities and they don't have YSX capabilities. So <coughs> why so many names for the same thing? And why so much confusion for uh, what is essentially just a digital mode or a separate mode from FM? Uh, fusion refers to repeaters. Uh, not all repeaters are fusion enabled. Um, uh, GB3WF is an analog repeater uh, and it's also a digital repeater and as such uh, because it marries the old with the new it's classed as fusion. Uh, other repeaters uh, in our local area uh, say the first repeater uh, GB3HG uh, are not um, fusion repeaters, they are just plain analog repeaters and there are other repeaters like GB7TD which isn't uh, a fusion repeater and it isn't uh, an analog repeater, it's a DMR repeater. So there you go, some terminology to uh, to bash your head in. Uh, so what's YSX? Well YSX is actually just an interface box uh, very much similar to uh, the interface box you'd use to run digital modes on HF. Uh, a YSX box will um, 
take the information uh, in digital format from the radio and it will uh, it will put that out to the internet um, via a computer uh, when it gets out of the other side wherever it might be Japan or uh, Australia or, or indeed America or anywhere else in the world that there, uh, there are other enthusiasts using the wireless X system it will convert that digital signal uh, back into uh, audio speech via the radio and quite through the radio speakers uh, excellent system uh, works very well as you heard uh, Ken uh, G3 SPX has been using the system for uh, a good few uh, months now on both the uh, MB6 ILE gateway on 70 centimeters and indeed uh, the one he's just used which is MB6 LE on uh, as you can see 144850 2 meters so that's the first thing the terminology is huge um, you have nodes gateways repeaters uh, fusion C4 FM wires X more than you'd ever hear on analog um, if you think of uh, wires X as basically echo link if you've ever used echo link in the past that's what uh, that's what the basis of wires X is it's very similar uh, it has room numbers and node numbers uh, five digit uh, 27793 is my room number and if you were on the echo link system you would dial to get from say uh, GB3CP uh, over to uh, GB3IR uh, you would dial uh, the DTMF code uh, for GB3IR uh, via GB3CP and that would link both repeaters together uh, so as with echo link um, giving you wide coverage so does wires X but it does it digitally rather than via analog so dead easy system to use uh, all you need to do is find using your C4 FM radio uh, is find a repeater or a, indeed a gateway uh, like the ones I run uh, in your local area and uh, go onto their frequency uh, put it in uh, digital narrow mode big pointy finger uh, that's the DN sign there if you uh, make sure it's in DN if it's a digital one and uh, make sure it's in FM if it's an analog gateway yes we do have analog gateways on the wires X system uh, as we do for 10 meters uh, 2 meters 70 centimeters 4 meters 6 meters uh, we have all bands on different gateways uh, all connected to the wires X system that's the beauty of the system uh, <coughs> We're slightly different from a repeater running a gateway, a gateway simplex, with, so what it hears on the internet it transmits out on uh, the same frequency as you hear it on, uh, so it's not a split shift, it's, uh, it's one frequency, mine's 144850 uh, and the 70cm one is uh, 431075. Uh, but they are both digital gateways and there's a reason they're digital gateways um, digital gateways don't have uh, any hiss crackle squelch noise uh, or anything like that and they don't get interfered with by um, pager towers APRS or, or something similar uh, as analog does um, it's a really good system and I really like it uh, the beauty of the system is it, it is so easy to use you can put the, this radio in a car uh, drive round leads um, uh, attach it to my gateway and be speaking to somebody in America while you sat outside of the Asda car park um, very good <laughs> uh, a lot easier than uh, than operating on uh, echo link um, a lot easier to program uh, as all the program is done in the gateway itself so any new rooms or anything like that is automatically updated uh, to the gateway system uh, you don't have to do any other programming other than put it on the frequency that the gateway is on or the repeater is on uh, a fusion repeater in our area is GB3HD uh, which does uh, part time analog and fusion uh, at different times and dates uh, you need to you get all the repeater keepers to, uh, to find out what those are but uh, it's very very good system it's it's very capable 
many years ago I can uh, I can quite happily uh, suggest that when the first repeater came online people would have said well that's cheating because that's not antenna to antenna uh, the repeater's doing all the work um, and the things haven't changed um, 50 years on <laughs> in the year 2016 uh, people will tell you that this isn't real radio it's cheating uh, because it's not antenna to antenna um, and no it isn't it's not RF to RF um, if you're in your car and you're speaking to my gateway that part is RF uh, from then it goes to the internet it comes out of the internet and becomes RF at the other end <coughs> But uh, no, uh, technology moves on and the world moves on. Um, there is always going to be HF, there is always going to be analogue. Uh, but recently, uh, 2 meter FM has uh, died a death, shall we say. And this is countrywide, it's, uh, it's happening all over uh, the UK. Uh, so the reason I got into fusion and to digital modes is that uh, uh, what we did or what we decided to do eight, eight months ago is we all got together um, all the gateway keepers and uh, quite a few of the repeater keepers and decided to create something called the UK Net Hub. Uh, the UK Net Hub allows all fusion enabled repeaters and digital gateways uh, to reside in one room and share all the traffic. Uh, so on any morning or any given time of day you could be talking to anywhere in the world and it will be coming out on all the gateways and all the repeaters and all the nodes that are connected. Uh, we have private nodes which uh, don't repeat what they hear on the internet, they just use it for their own personal use and we have gateways which are simplex like mine and uh, we retransmit it and we have repeaters uh, who also retransmit it. Um, the gateways and repeaters in the UK of which there are many uh, are growing every day and the amount of users that are connecting to gateways and repeaters uh, are also expanding fairly rapidly. Um, but that's just give you a brief uh, idea of uh, uh, what it can do. Uh, if you go to uh, YouTube and, uh, and search M0 Sugar or Sugar, you'll find lots of the little instructional videos. They won't all be correct. Uh, I'm no expert by any means, uh, but I do enjoy. Uh, I do enjoy messing with uh, different things and uh, trying to explain it in a non-technical manner. Uh, I hope this video helps in that respect and uh, thanks very much for your time. This is M0 Sugar or Sugar, Stuart in Pudsey, West Yorkshire. Hope you have a fun, fantastic day and 73s from me. Uh, take care and we'll see you in the future.